the expectation this group is what? The best, the best what? The best from the country, right? Me and EJ worked in the recruiting department together at Temple. I'm proud of EJ. You know, he's grown tremendously, right? You know, some people look at him as, or used to probably look at him as a recruiting guy, but he's the coach. I saw that when he was coaching Christian McCaffrey, way back at the Panthers. You know, I watched him take his UConn group and make and get the most out of it. Right. Dominant contact, ready? Reboot, get there, five more, eyes up, finish. So EJ's been around some really good backs that he's played with. He's also coached with some really good backs. I know he's been around Saquon Barkley and Miles Sanders, two guys that's played in the NFL. I know he evaluated them guys when they had to come out of high school. So I think those are all traits that he brings to coaching that can help uplift our players, identify the right type of guys, and help our team just overall be better. Let's be detailed. Hey, let's be detailed, okay? Detailed on your alignments, detailed on your assignment. All right, let's go, come on. You know, EJ's a guy that's not around the business, just Works really, really, really hard. He's there for the players. Got really good knowledge of the game. He works at it. He brings a toughness. You know, he was a boxer growing up. He was a, a Golden Clubs champion. Got that toughness, that rawness about him. Uh, he's able to relate to the kids uh, and also, you know, have their respect. So I expect that room to come out being, you know, one, knowing what to do, which is which is crucial, but just the toughness that he's going to bring, the effort they're going to play with and play for him. On the football with your eyes. All right? Nice shot. Finish, finish, finish! Nice job! Nice job! Let's go, let's go! Good eye! He knows what he's doing in terms of the experience of looking at things and looking at the field. Um, he's a smart guy, he knows protections, he knows uh, how to run the football, and he's got a real edge to him in terms of getting the guys to play tough, run tough, run downhill, make the read, but get your pads down, finish. Um, you know, really, really good with the toughness part of the running back position. EJ embodies what our coach said, just embodies, period family and caring. If you watched any of the UConn games last year, the one thing I hope you were able to see was the effort out of that running back unit and how they ran the football and how much pride they took each rep. I get choked up just talking about it. Uh, they're great kids, you know, they're, they're great kids. And, uh, if kind of all of us in it together, like we've been around each other now, so we're comfortable, we know each other. I think that's what helped everybody kind of win and, and what we do. Players love it. He loves his players, I'm happy about it. I'm, I'm excited to see what he can do here. Give me that zone! Give me that zone! Fight! Fight! Get it! Bro, oh, green comes to finish out here, right? That's the standard, right? That's the standard. We're not supposed to finish out here, right? EJ's intense in pretty much everything he does, I would say. His on the field demeanor isn't any different. He does it in his own way. He is staring and he gets his point across in the way he needs to. He's very, very passionate. Very, very prideful about his group. You know, he's, he expects the most out of He demands the best. It'll be a lot of fun watching those guys. He's got a talented room. Here we go, boys! Yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Right? Nice job. Off ball. Stay in bounds. Vertical. Out of point. Finish. Finish. Stay up. Stay up. Hey, counter rock on three. One, two, three. Counter rock. rock.